Our next session uh, will report on research that Optus has undertaken re recently. It was uh, completed in April and May this year and the research sought to understand how technology in both shaping and supporting changes in the workplace. In particular, how flexible working is supported by the technology trends of increased mobile working, enterprise mobility applications and new enterprise uh, collaboration tools. What we found very interesting, not just as providers of integrated communication solutions, the findings also have some broad implications for Australian business and government organisations. In a moment, we'll show you a video that shows some emerging trends and predictions about changing technology in the workplace. There have been a few studies, have been few studies that have been asked, asked Australian business about their future plans in one consolidated survey. So we're pleased to launch this report today. Following the video, Scott Mason, Director of Products, Marketing and Strategy for Optus Business, will tell us more about the findings of the research. Scott's responsible for shaping, developing and marketing the Optus Business Enterprise Mobility product portfolio for corporate and government markets in Australia. Scott Mason, I'm the Director of Marketing Strategy at Optus Business and I'm here to talk to you a bit about the report that we're releasing today. Um, we've all heard about the future of work and, the imp and uh, we're all wondering how it's going to impact our business. We've seen and heard a lot about various trends over the last few years but not enough about how they will contribute to transform the workplace over the next four, sorry, four to five years and beyond. What I will tell you today will not surprise many of you. Most of the CIOs I speak to are already facing these challenges. They're currently dealing with the rapid adoption of technologies by staff and customers within their organisations. In particular, increased mobility, uh, sorry, increased mobile working and collaboration across any device. What we have done is put some quantitative figures around this change and that's what I'd like to share with you now. First, a little bit about the methodology. At Optus, we engage Stancom Research and Planning to talk to human resources and information technology departments in over 300 organisations. These organisations were located around the country and they were organisations from medium businesses through corporates to enterprises and also governments. Stancom asked IT and HR decision makers how they're meeting workplace technology challenges today and how they plan to in three to five years' time. The research has found that the way we work in 2014 to 2016 will be very different to the way we work today. And the implications for your businesses will be profound. The key findings of the research were the business would see more mobility, an increased use of personal devices, and in particular, the way in which they will access the corporate network, more remote working, improved collaboration, greater social media access and use and also increased flexibility. Now, I don't have time to go through the full report today, so this is really a bit of a highlights package, but the report will be available to all of you to download after this session. Today, businesses issued mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets to a small group of employees, and these, some would say surprisingly, sit mainly, and some would say wouldn't be surprisingly, sit mainly in the senior management or middle management layer. 
However, research revealed that businesses plan to issue these devices more widely over the next three to five years. 56% of IT respondents expected their businesses to issue smartphones to sales teams over the next three to five years, and this is up from 43% that say they do so today. 54% said they would issue smartphones to field force teams, up 30% from today. The biggest increases are amongst those businesses that expect to issue tablets to field staff. 35% of IT managers we spoke to expected their companies to issue tablets to their sales teams within three to five years, and that's up from 4% today. 39% said that they would be issuing tablets to field force teams, which is up from 9% today. And overall, 84%, that's 84% of IT respondents expected tablet computers to access their corporate networks in the next three to five years, and that compares to only 37% today. In the applications area, businesses are also planning to give people access to more mobile applications. These applications will enable workers to collaborate more effectively access customer information and requirements immediately and input information directly into corporate systems. Surprisingly, 57% were prepared to invest in developing their own mobile applications in the next three to five years. This was higher than the 46% that were expected to deploy off-the-shelf applications to employees, smartphones, tablets and other mobile devices. Also, not surprisingly, uh, we'll see an increase in personal device usage. More companies plan to allow workers to use personal computers and smartphones to access the corporate network. 51% of IT departments expect to allow staff to access the corporate network using their own personal notebooks in the next three to five years. Less than one third, so, uh, sorry, less than one third do so today. The share of businesses that allow staff to access the corporate network using a personal desktop is, to, is expected to increase from 36% now to 59% in three to five years. However, the research also reveals that companies do not expect employees to rely solely on their own personal devices. Most companies that allow personal device usage also issue desktop PCs, laptops and other equipment to their staff. So when we talk about remote, remote working, we find the businesses are also increasing, uh, increasingly allowing their staff to work from remote locations. 35% of HR respondents expect to allow staff to work from any remote location in the next three to five years, which is up from 21% currently. Thanks to the opportunities provided by the mobile network technologies such as wireless broadband and notebooks, people can now work from home, cafes or elsewhere. Examples include people who want to pick up their children from school for piano lesson, for example, and the technology will allow them to log in and still work on the corporate network from the cafe next door. Businesses are also planning to grow their own internal collaboration tools over the next three to five years. These included real-time tools such as enterprise instant messaging, internal discussion forums, and internal Twitter-style applications. 53% of IT respondents expect such collaboration tools to consume larger share of their budget in the next three to five years. By deploying these tools, companies can make more, information, uh, more informed decisions with faster input from more people. As a result, they will more quickly be able to ident identify opportunities, overcome obstacles and meet their customers' needs. We also had a look at what uh, our companies were doing or our customers were doing around social media access. What we found is that we can expect to see more businesses allowing access to social media sites such as Facebook and Twitter in the workplace. 26% of IT respondents said that they currently permitted but monitored social media access today. This figure is expected to grow to 49% in the next three to five years. This reflects the fact, that the, the fact that the distinction between working hours and personal time is becoming less clear for a lot of people, particularly for our younger employees. So where is the demand coming from for these tools and technologies? Both Generation X, uh, such as myself, uh, people born between uh, 1961 and 1981, and Generation Y, those born after 1982, are driving demand for mobile devices in business. 
However, Generation Y is largely driving the demand for access for more, more recent developments and particularly in the area of social media. <laughs> It's also interesting some of the findings around flexibility. Most companies offer some form of flexible working now. In fact, HR um, don't see this changing over time. 66% of HR respondents said that the company currently offered partially flexible working and 63% said it offered working from home during business hours. These were expected to remain similar over the next three to five years. So what are the ramifications for these changes to, to businesses? Improving productivity will obviously be a key focus. However, this is not the be-all and end-all. We all know that business success depends so much on employing good people and keeping them happy and motivated. Our Future of Work report shows 40% of HR respondents believe flexible working arrangements help retain skilled staff and 24% believe they help maintain a work-life balance. HR also believes social media access will become increasingly important over the next three to five years in recruiting and retaining staff. This is also true of allowing staff to access the corporate network from their own personal devices. These changes, I know, pose a considerable security challenge for many organisations. For example, allowing your staff to use personal device can result in sensitive business information residing on the same device as personal photographs, lists of friends, uh, lists of friends numbers and personal banking information. Obviously, this represents a host of challenges for your corporate security and compliance policies. But I would go as far as to say is that the standard operating environment, or SOE, is currently under real threat. However, these changes can be worked through and shouldn't stop your business from investing in the workplace of the future. There is a uh, fly in the ointment, however. Our research refer, uh, revealed that IT and HR functions have different views and priorities in, in delivering the workplace of the future. For example, HR departments believe IT departments should only have a small involvement in developing flexible working strategy, whereas IT believes both functions should be involved. Also, IT has different expectations from HR about how flexible working will change over the medium term. The one thing they do have in common, however, is they both agree that they typically don't work closely together in developing these policies, particularly around social media. This, can be, this disconnect can obviously be damaging and costly to your business. So around the next steps, at Optus we believe that businesses should take a range of steps to deliver workplace of the future, and these include forming a future workplace committee headed by the CEO or COO, and including the heads of IT and HR. Developing strategies, allocating responsibilities and setting milestones would ensure everyone is singing from the same hymn sheet. We also think businesses should ensure that flexible working supports their broader goals and strategies. They should organise training and appoint internal champions to promote the benefits of collaboration, flexibility and other workplace of the future trends. Finally, businesses should choose a partner with which uh, with expertise to which they can implement technologies that support flexible working and the organisation's strategic objectives. Here's the sales pitch. Uh, I'm pleased to say that Optus would be pleased to be that partner. To summarise, this report shows that the future of the work is flexible, collaborative and mobile. There is a real opportunity for IT to take a seat at the strategy table and partner with HR to make the future of work a reality in Australian businesses. I encourage you to go back to your organisations and have a conversation with HR and work out how you can work more strategically together to deliver that vision. Following from today, we will send you a copy of the report um, and we'll let you, uh, the highlights report, sorry, and we'll also let you know how you can download the, the full report. In the meantime, please direct any questions uh, or any ideas to your account manager or please feel free to vi visit our website. Thank you for your time today.